All right, getting ready for round three. You're going to notice right down here a bunch of wolves. <clears throat> the uh, Sometimes you can grapple them in R1, and that would be an extremely effective tactic, except for the fact that they do not always let you do that. Sometimes they block it, so notice that I'm just using my uh, square and triangle attacks to murder lies all of them once again this is bold sickle talking you through uh the entire desert of lost souls and solo gold wave i'm gonna have 26 total gold waves at the end of the entire map and i will have over 18 seconds to spare at the top of the map notice i have over 12 right now but i'm still rushing around because i like to so i grab that hammer i'm gonna set this trap and hop off this particular section right here you're gonna fight a fire talos which is the white statue guy uh, when he catches his entire body on fire like that right there he is completely invincible so it's not even worth attacking him. your magic uh, nothing does any damage to him until the fire goes off of his body so I'm gonna grapple that guy off the cliff that was a one-hit kill for him and uh, now the fire talos is not on fire so I can go back to attacking him. He should catch on fire a second time once I have done enough damage. I'm going to trigger uh, some magic that I happen to have left over. He's on fire a second time, so my attacks are not doing any damage to him. I'm going to turn them up on this other satire over here. And uh, when the fire Talos catches on fire, he will shoot up in the air and do that little dive bomb thing. And uh, eventually he gets the red halo. Very important to note, you should never grapple the fire Talos when he gets the red halo. Do not try to uh, do a brutal kill on him because his quick time event is ridiculously fast. It's really easy to screw up. So I don't recommend uh, doing the quick time event for the fire Talos white statue guy at all. So now I'm going to move up the left hand side and then uh, I'm going to move up the right hand side. So basically I'm showing you in these videos uh, what to expect on both sides. You don't have to go up both sides. Uh, you can just pick one and do things a little bit quicker. But this section right here, uh, we just have regular satires and some wolves. So I'm just going to brutalize everyone right here. Once again, you notice that when they get the red halo, I usually do not do brutal kills. I just go ahead and attack them. For uh, purposes of making sure that I get a gold wave and getting through faster, I'm going to get five gold waves in this uh, particular video. I've already got 14. I got seven in round one and seven in round two. And uh, you'll notice that I am constantly clicking L3 to run everywhere I go. I'm just hauling boogity uh, from one spot to the next. So I set a trap, then I run over and bust a chest, and I run over here and grab the hammer run over here trigger the altar then i'm going to jump over the fence grab the magic and wait for the trap to kill some people we're going to have another amazon spawn in this section right here that's the little blue chicks and uh notice i picked up that hammer i'm going to throw it using l1 and the circle button i never use those uh world weapons as a regular weapon i always throw them watch what happens boom she goes straight into the white halo that's why i throw them they do an immense amount of damage when you throw them uh, usually puts enemies directly into uh, a white halo or the next stage so you know she's dead already when they get the white halo that pretty much means that they're half dead and uh, so I got another gold out of that and uh, make sure that trap is set way up there on the left for later burst that chest grab that hammer and uh, like I said you could go ahead and go to the next section to the end if you wanted to but I'm gonna backtrack and go up the right hand side I'm gonna make sure this trap is set and uh, this right hand side for, for round three is actually more difficult than the left hand side simply because of the fact that you have uh, satire fiends over here which are the suicide bombers the little guys that glow blue and then they explode once again I remind you the best way to deal with them is to grapple them and then immediately hit uh, the right joystick to do a dodge away from them because you're actually invincible while you're dodging even if you don't actually dodge away from them but uh, if you're not going to go up both sides here, I recommend just going up the left-hand side. Gold for the um, round three because these suicide bombers can kill you. I mean, really easily. They're, expo they're like self-explosions -explos do uh, an immense amount of damage. So once again, we're going to get another uh, Amazon over here. She spawned. I throw the hammer. Boom. Immediately into the white halo. When you grab her with the white halo, when you're doing that little slam attack that I just did with her, try to aim towards ledges that don't have any uh, 
barrier because sometimes you can bounce her off of the ledge and she'll just go right off a cliff and die instantly. So now I got two stupid dogs over here. Uh, kill these two wolves. Come on, fellas. I really want to get another gold. There we go. So, uh, remember, anytime you need to, you can always run down here and this health respawns. Uh, so make sure I got full health because I got over 14 minutes to spare at the top. It's not like I'm going to run out of time at this point because I'm just smoking this course. So always go over here and bust this chest. You get an extra 10 seconds for the chests when you're playing solo. You get an extra 8 seconds for the chests when you are in co-op. And I'm going to trigger this and we get another fire Talos. And once again, I remind you that uh, it's pretty much three stages to them. Uh, broken up by intervals of them catching on fire. So when I throw that hammer at him with L1 and the circle button, he immediately goes uh, into his second stage where he catches on fire and as soon as that fire goes out like that right there now he's vulnerable again and we're going to go back to attacking him notice I'm pretty much ignoring the rest of these enemies and uh, you do have to watch out for the suicide bombing satire fiends though be very careful for them in this section right here and now the fire talus is caught on fire a second time I'm gonna click on my magic which I saved for the third time so uh, now he's got the red halo I'm just gonna stomp him to death make really quick and easy work of him and that's another gold wave and round three is complete so the video response will pick up for round four I hope all that was easy enough to follow click an L3 once again to run everywhere I go and uh, you got two more videos for round four and round five that's the way it works thanks for watching